thoughts on Tulsi Gabbard. Um, so I've been getting a few comments and messages about how I don't do enough Tulsi Gabbard content. And I do have some videos, but I, I really should keep up with her more. Uh, she's been a top three candidate for me in the primary since she announced. Um, uh, Tulsi's foreign policy experience and motivations and, and ideas, they just beat out the rest of the field. Um, like Mike Ravel's pretty close, you know, pretty strong foreign policy rhetoric and policy. Bernie Sanders, the same. But I even think Tulsi has them outflanked. She's number one when it comes to foreign policy angles, foreign policy talk uh, about being anti-interventionalist and anti-war. And you can't beat her. Uh, and I wish more candidates were, were, were using that sort of language. But you're not going to get that from centrists. Uh, you're going to get that from the progressives, uh, which Tulsi is. And speaking of, to merge with her foreign policy uh, experience and, and, and viability is a progressive, a, pro a domestic progressive record that goes back to 2012. That is a solid progressive voting record. So she's just not all about foreign policy. She has the progressive uh, record um, with, her, with her votes in Congress to back up being uh, a full spectrum candidate. So she is a wonderful merge point between her domestic agenda and her foreign policy outlook. And that makes her super viable. That, that makes, man, like I said, she's been in the top three for the longest time. And what else? Yeah, like, like if she's not going to be president, if she doesn't get the nomination, she's going to make an excellent vice president. Um, like, sometimes I, I visualize Tulsi and Bernie and Tulsi and Yang. Because Yang and Bernie are softer on foreign policy, but they're strong on domestic agendas. And, and Tulsi's progressive agenda, but with her foreign experience or foreign policy experience, she would match up perfectly with Andrew Yang or Bernie Sanders uh, and, and strike a balance there, I believe. Uh, but she would also make an excellent Secretary of State. Um, she, she shows that she wants to put herself in these uncomfortable situations, uh, talking with our adversaries, uh, promoting peace, promoting anti-war, anti-interventionalist policy. She is just primed and ready to get on the world stage. Okay, so Tulsi being Secretary of State, she'd have to be in my top three there as well. So Tulsi Gabbard is just, she blows my mind. <laughs> Everything about, I love her, and I really should be covering her more. And from this point on, I'm going to do that. So Watch for more Tulsi Gabbard videos in the future. Like, share, and subscribe. Click the bell on the side.